Let me go back to the route by time of day section and turn off the least squares means Tukey HSD. And I want to show you one final way to do comparisons between these different means. The final way under the red triangle is using the least squares means contrast. Now a contrast is a specific pairwise comparison. That is, we are given a little panel here that allows us to dial in which level we wish to compare to which other level. This will become exceedingly useful when we have much larger designs when you don't want to produce every possible comparison of means. For instance, let's go back to our comparison between 8 o'clock and 9.30 for just Gilman Drive. If I wanted to make that specific comparison and not see everything else, I can simply click a plus for one of those means and a minus for the other one. When I click done, Jump will run just that comparison for us. It actually accomplishes this through an f-ratio as well. Don't worry about that specifically. It's really the same as doing the t-test because notice the p-value is identical. This is a linear contrast. It's simply a test of one specific mean comparison we wish to make. Notice that we can make many of these if we wished. I can go back to the route by time of day section, click least squares means contrast again, and I'm given another panel. This time, let's compare at 8 o'clock Gilman Drive versus La Jolla Village Drive. Here, I would simply give a plus to one of these. I'll do plus for Gilman Drive at 8 o'clock and a minus for the other one, La Jolla Village Drive at 8 o'clock. As long as you have one plus and one minus, you can click done and Jump will run the analysis. Here, we'll get the same p-value we saw before, p less than 0 .0001. These are simpler, especially when you have a large number of comparisons that are possible, but you only wish to see a few. So my recommendation is, if you have a specific comparison of means you wish to make after doing your analysis of variance, use the least squares means contrast. These are not corrected tests, so certainly be aware that if you run many of these, you will be inflating your overall alpha level but you can adjust these using your Bon Veroni correction. That is, you can set up ahead of time an idea of how many of these contrasts you're going to run and which ones you'll run specifically, and then compare your observed p-values against your Bon Veroni corrected alpha level.